everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And in today's video, I have some new goodies from Charlotte Tilbury. And if you guys don't know, that means you didn't read the title, which I'm sure you did. But I have the newest drops from her. And this is one of the most highly anticipated drops of the season. So I have the new bronzers and I have the new quad. And you all already know this season is bronzer season. I feel like every single brand is coming out with bronzers. So of course Charlotte Tilbury had to put her two cents in. So today I'm going to be reviewing them. I'm going to be trying them on. I picked up two colors. They shipped out super fast. Shout out to Charlotte Tilbury's website. That is super impressive, especially in this day and time because other retailers, they just aren't able. So to see them show up on my doorstep and I just placed my order two days ago, I was like, okay, come through, come through. So uh, let's first talk about this quad. So here's the packaging that a lot of her products come in. Some of the products have a little bit of a different packaging, but for the most part, this is her signature. So it's brown. It says luxury palette of mattes. And it has 0.14 ounces of products or 4 grams of product. Here's the actual quad. So this one retails for $53. And this one is called the Desert Haze Quad. So here she is. It says that this is a magical matte eyeshadow palette of nude, peach, and smoky brown hues. Of course, I have it on my eyes right now. I did do one look using it, but don't fret, darling. I'll pull it back out in the future and do more looks, but for now... We're going to explore it and I'll tell you guys how to do the look that you see on my eyes here. So next we have the bronzes, the big kahunas. These things are massively big. So this retails for $55 and it has 16 grams of products. This thing is beautiful. Like look at this with this golden packaging. Charlotte Tilbury has given us this before. But this thing is, it's pretty big. 16 grams of products for a bronzer is a lot. And uh, here's what the inside looks like. So to give you some perspective on how big this bronzer is, here's her Glowgasm palette. Again, 15.2 grams of products across four different pans. So all four of these pans have less products than this bronzer has in it. I recently picked up her Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this one has eight grams of products in it and here's the bronzer which has 16 so it is twice the size of the powder. So this bronzer retails for $55. It comes in four different shades. I have two of them. I have two medium and I have the shade 310. The other shade is number one and that one is called Fair and then the deepest shade is number four and that one is called deep so the description for these bronzers states and I'm gonna summarize because there's a whole paragraph here it says that these are a next generation matte innovation for that flawless summer feeling it says these bronzers have hyaluronic acid infused smoothing pore blurring effects in them and it says that these shades were created to mimic the appearance of a sun-kissed bronzed contoured complexion these powders were designed after her number one seller her airbrush flawless filter powder and it says that these have beautifying airbrush dna and finest air finely milled pigments to blur the appearance of pores and smooth over your skin to make you look and feel like the best most beautiful version of yourself Hey, I say that i like that saying so a few more notes about these bronzers before we jump into the demo these bronzers don't have a smell to them, so if you're a person who has concerns about fragrances, there's none detected here, and they simply just don't smell like anything. So, let's go ahead and jump into this demonstration. I'm going to show you guys how these products look. I'm going to start off with my eyes, and then of course I'm going to try on the bronzers. Stay tuned until the end, and I will tell you guys my final thoughts about all of these products and uh, do a little bit of comparisons. So, I hope that you all enjoy. So today, I'm going to do an all matte look, and I am only using this quad. So, I'm going to start off, as per usual, with a blending brush. This one is the NARS number 42. I'm going to take this bad boy right here. Actually, let me go back a step and prep my eyes. This one is Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. Now, let's bring it back here. So, I am ooh, going to take this in my crease and then fluff this up. Let's fluff it up. Mm -hmm. So back and forth. That was one little dip. So let me just continue to blend her out. But one little dip and I got that. So I'm not mad at it. 
Very nice blend, very effortless. Let me go ahead and do the other eye. Next, I'm gonna take the same brush and I want this color to further define my crease. So I'm just gonna, ooh, fluff that back and forth here. Keep it real tight in the crease. This brush is already fluffy anyway, so it's going to fluff some up, but pretty much I'm controlling where I'm going by not moving the brush too much, so I'm just going back and forth directly in the crease. And if you have smaller eyes, use a smaller brush because this brush is pretty fluffy. It can overwhelm and take over the area where you just applied the first color, but since y'all know I got some real estate going on, I could still go in with this fluffy brush and hit myself in the eye with it. Let's take it here and see what it does. Again, same brush, and I'm just gonna boop. Ooh, I like that. I just popped it on the outer corner and then I blended it over, but it just blended in and it melted. Now let me add a little sum sum on the lid. So I have my Reference 02 flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into the lighter shade. Ooh, it picked up nicely on this brush. This one is a natural hair brush. Oh, I like that. I'm just gonna pack this on. Ooh, that's nice. I love a simple to use matte eyeshadow and this is giving it to me. Ooh, yes. I'm just gonna pat that next to that outer corner color and then bring it up to the crease. If you need to go back into your blending brush, do so with no additional products so everything blends harmoniously. Sounds like it's about to rain outside. That's all right. We still gonna be bronzed on the inside like it's sunny. I actually decided I wanna pop just a little bit of this right in the middle just to help that blend go. And I like that a lot. I'm just popping that right in the middle. I am feeling that. I'm gonna add some eyeliner to it. So I'm back. I love, love, love the way that my eye look has turned out, even though my eyes are being some little <clears throat> annoying things and won't stop tearing up. But even despite that, like, I am feeling it. So let me go ahead and do the lower lash line with some eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do too much just because my eyes are already on 10, so I'm gonna keep it simple. Wayne got 07, and I'm just gonna do a mixture of this right here. And I'm just gonna take that across the lower lash line, keep it tight. I'm not gonna take it on the inner part just because I don't wanna further irritate my eye. I'm just gonna sweep it over there. So let's try on these bronzers. I think I wanna go in with my Sonya G Face Pro. And I'm gonna go in with 02 first and I need to remove the hoops. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna get a little bit, let's see what happens, you know. Ooh, ooh, that is a nice natural bronzer. I just dipped back in one more time. I'm building it up. That is a nice natural bronze. It just blended into my face. Look at the side with no bronzer and look at the side with bronzer. I barely even had to blend this for it to look so effortlessly blended. I love that. This bronzer is definitely translating on the skin as silky as it feels in the pan, and that is rare. That's nice. Get into that. Nice everyday bronzer. And I really didn't know if this color was really gonna work for me. I grabbed it just as a resource, so you guys can see it, but I was like, it might be too light. I don't know, but definitely, I'm gonna layer it up just a little bit more. This is probably gonna be my new everyday bronzer. Mmm. -hmm. Let me wipe off my brush. Okay, so bronze side, not bronze side. I have 03. Now, with 02 looking as effortless as it does, as natural as it does, 03 is gonna turn up. I can already tell you that much because this one is darker. There's a big shade difference here. This is about two or three shades darker than 02. I would have preferred to have a color right in the middle. I felt like that would have been my perfect bronzer shade. But let's see what 03 does, okay? And I will tell you this, these brushes are picking up this bronzer like super easily, so don't load up your brush. I like this one too, ooh. This one is still golden, which I like because golden bronzers are a little bit rare. Like sometimes bronzers can be super neutral or they can be warm toned, but the goldenness of this bronzer, 
I'm very much so into it. But like you all can see, this is a lot more dramatic than our friend over here. This one is a lot more natural, a little bit more subtle, like a nice, easy bronze. And then this side is like, big wheel keep on turning, turning. Like this one is giving us the drama. And this one is, left a good job in the city. Like this one is just a lot more toned down. But both of them are pretty, silky smooth. They both just melt into the skin. Do you all have a preference? Do you like the more natural side? Or do you like the more dramatic side? Because both of them are vibes. Let me just say that. Both of them are vibes. So let me go around here with the more dramatic one. I'm just picking up just a little bit because like I said, a little bit goes a long way. And these things just blend out by themselves. There's not a patch in sight. I think I need to go ahead and even it out. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of 03 over here. And you see how that layers up and it still doesn't look patchy or anything like that. Now the brush does not hurt. You can always go in with another brush if you don't have this one, but I just love how fluffy this brush is. And this one is a natural hair brush. So this one obviously is going to help blend it out a little bit better, but use whatever brush you have. I think this bronzer is so silky smooth that you can go in with almost any powder brush. I just wouldn't dig in too hard because it's very, very soft. I actually want to go in with a little bit of my nose. I'm going to go in with 02 with my Wayne Goss 02 brush and very carefully, I'm going to kind of add a little bit of a little bit of bronze situation to my nose, almost the same way that I would do contour. And the reason why I'm able to do this with this bronzer is because it is so neutral, it's so natural. I love that. Okay, so I am back and on a very serious note, I had to take a moment and compose myself and gather my thoughts because I am just completely in awe at the gorgeous products that I just tried from Charlotte Tilbury. And I really don't know what spirit moved Charlotte to give us these products, but I am 100% with it because, I mean, I was excited about it, but I just was not expecting this level of greatness that she blessed us with. So I just almost am at a loss for words for how great I think this bronzer performed and how amazing I think this eyeshadow quad performed because honesty moment here. I was not in love with Charlotte Tilbury quads in the past. I've tried a few like maybe like five, six years ago and I thought they were a bit drier. So, you know, nowadays I kind of see them and I'm like, mm, I'm not really that excited about them. But then this particular one, it has so much hype behind it. I just knew I had to try it. So I picked it up and I am not only pleasantly surprised, I am just over the moon with it. I feel like everything blended out so smoothly i love this new formulation that she's done with her powders if this is what she's giving along with the formulation from the pillow talk eyeshadow palette i am here for it yes this eyeshadow palette has staple colors some people may say that they already have it but the way that she turned up on this formula honestly if you haven't bought some neutrals in a while and you are looking for a simple neutral eyeshadow quad like this one, then I would look at this palette because it is super, super easy to use, very beautiful, and as a person who enjoys matte eyeshadows, but I don't always get very excited about them because I feel like I have a lot of my staples in my collection, this right here is a welcomed addition and I'm happy that I bought it. It's very nice. I would say that this can work for deep complexions. If you have a deeper complexion, say MAC NC50 or deeper, you probably are not going to be able to use the top two colors like in the crease, but you can use them on the lids. But this color right here, it gets pretty deep. And even if you have to reach outside to get one deeper shade, I mean, I think it's worth it for how easy these eyeshadows blend. I pulled a few other quads that I want to compare to this one just to give you an idea. Let's first talk about one of my other favorite matte neutral quads. Pretty much matte. This one does have a little bit of a shimmer to it in one of the shades because it unfortunately has become discontinued. But this is one of my favorite quads that has 
a basic color story but it's something that I use all the time and I just feel like this one is classic but in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury one I would say these formulas are just really really similar and I have never thought Charlotte Tilbury's quad formula was similar to Tom Ford's I still love my Coco Mirage more because it's more neutral and this one is more warm but I mean formulation wise tip for tat but I think that both of these are gorgeous products. I also pulled out another classic palette to compare to this quad. And that one is the Viseart Neutral Mattes Palette. Do you know how grand your eyeshadow formula has to be for me to pull this out to compare it to that? Like, do you know? <laughs> she must have been doing some here. But I think this quad is similar to my Viseart Eyeshadow Neutral Matte. And I think that there's colors here for me to be able to get the same vibe if I didn't want to get this. Here's your clay brown. Here's your clay brown. Here's a mid-tone brown. There's the mid-tone brown. And then this color right here, I would say it's right here. So if you have the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette, I wouldn't necessarily say you would need this one. And the last palette that I have to compare to this is the Natasha Denona Biba palette and you all know I love this one and I would say I think there are similarities here as far as the colors but I think I think my girl Charlotte's formula is outperforming the formula in here that's doing something that's all I have to say this quad is really really nice I think that she did a great job on it and it's just easy peasy beautiful I love it and so Let's talk about these bronzers because I think that these bronzers may have just replaced all of my other bronzers that I've been saying were my favorites in my collection. It glides on. It's so nice. It blended out so effortlessly and I love the way that it looks. You all know I have so many bronzers that I use on a consistent basis. And I use my Guerlain bronzer all the time and I think these reminds me so much of that but these don't have a scent to them, so you don't have to worry about that if you're sensitive to that. I think these are smoother. Oh my gosh. It's like Charlotte Tilbury took all the elements that I loved about my Guerlain bronzer, about the Fenty bronzer, about my Tom Ford bronzer. I have the Silky Smooth there. I have the tone that I love. I have the blendability that I love, and she combined it in one bronzer. And this packaging is not too bad to look at either, right? This is absolutely gorgeous and is huge. There's 16 grams of product in here. My Guerlain bronzer has 10 grams of products. My Chanel bronzer has 12 grams of product. My Tom Ford has 21 grams of product. Tom Ford said you're not going to out bronzer me. <laughs> this is a huge bronzer and I've never ran through any Tom Ford bronzer that I have and I have two so this is just quality at its finest. I love the compact. I love the formula. I think that she did an amazing job. My only thing is is that I need her to add two more colors. Hopefully she will add colors in between because I do think that there are some jumps there. She does have four colors and that fourth color, the deepest color, it looks like it is so rich and I think it is going to work for so many people with a deep complexion. So if you guys want to see a reference point for that, I will have down below the Plastic Boys video links. Make sure you go check him out. Show him some love. Let him know I sent you. But he reviewed that and when he swatched that next to all the other bronzers he had, you could really see how deep that bronzer is and so I was here for it. But the two that I have, I could use either one and be happy. You guys saw 02 is more natural. 03 is a little bit more dramatic and both of them have a purpose and have a spot in my heart and in my life and I am so happy to have these. I love that they're refillable so if I want to get another one I don't have to get an entirely new compact if I don't want to so I just think overall these are a win with minor things that I would change. I am so ecstatic that I am loving this collection like the way that I am because I honestly really was interested in it initially because you guys were interested in it but now <laughs> these products are making it into my favorites video and that is for sure so let me know your thoughts on these I know that the hype for these is going bananas on the internet let me know your two cents down in the comments section and I will check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye